The split squat is an incredible exercise. However, whilst at home, it's very difficult to make harder without having access to a variety of different weights. Now this version of the split squat is going to be harder, not necessarily through load on the legs, but because it's going to challenge your balance and overall mobility. Now I'm gonna use a kettlebell in this demonstration. However, you don't need access to a kettlebell or a dumbbell, for example. You could quite easily th have any object, throw any object over your head. It could be a two liter water bottle, it could be a book, it could be anything that has any small amount of weight to it. In fact, just holding your hand above your head is going to challenge both your balance and your flexibility. So quite simply, you're gonna start the movement by stepping into a comfortable stride with your feet approximately hip width apart. You certainly don't want to be stood on what effectively is a balance beam because you're certainly gonna struggle to stay upright in that position. Notice how the front foot is flat, yet my rear foot is on the ball or my toe, just to allow for a little bit more range of motion in my rear leg. I'm gonna place the kettlebell, dumbbell, bottle of water, whatever it is over my head. My aim is to reach as high as I possibly can so that I can upwardly retract or, or open my shoulder blade. I'm trying to keep my arm or my bicep in line with my ear. I'm gonna keep looking straight ahead and quite simply initiate the movement by bending my rear leg. This will allow me to travel vertically, so I'm traveling down toward the ground and I'm searching for a stretch in the hip flexor or the thigh of my rear leg. Now it's very important to, in order to maintain balance but also good posture, that my movement is not forward and backward. As said, I'm initiating with a bend in the back leg so I can travel vertically up and down. 